That's been great. I'll just put this one on as well. So, Emlyn, uh, how, how, what was your experience like of ripping? It took me a long while when it came to ripping. It started off in the haulage. Uh, emptying the coal tubs and sending empty coal tubs in to get, to get full. Did you use a haulage or did, was it was a haulage engine? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You should try, try the engine, not, not the game. If there was something wrong with the engine driver and he didn't come in, yeah. I'd, I'd fill the space. Was it an endless haulage or was it a direct haulage? Endless. Endless. In three and a half miles. Goodness me. And did you have to clip the tubs on? Yes. You had, had, had a chain to lash onto the, onto the rope and that's where it would take the tubs in and out. And you'd travel three and a half miles. Goodness me, that's a long distance. A and long did, you, did you walk with them all the way in the tubs? Uh, One times. Sometimes? Yes. It all depends where you were working. You were shot in different places or you'd, you'd go further in. And so how did you tell the people in by that the tubs were on the way? You had a, you had a way to pull and that would give a signal, signal on the bell. Three for in, two for out, and one to stop. And did they signal back to let you know they'd received the signal? No. No, no. You did recognise their signal when they had to use it. And they didn't recognise yours. Well, that's... And, um, so what sort of things did you... S was it empty tubs you sent in? Yes. 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 And what came back... F was it coal that came back? And coal. The coal came back. Yes. Uh, all depends what shift you're on. If you're on a, an afternoon shift, the, the rock may, may come back because they, they couldn't sell them, they couldn't get rid of the coal and the rock at the no, same time. No, no. It went up at different times. Did you sometimes send materials in? Yes. Yeah. Props and props, girders. Well, not. Uh, Up to all, all the roof and oh, tim is it timbers and timbers, timbers. Yeah. yeah. And um, af after you did the haulage work, what did you do? Uh, what, 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 did, what was the next job you did? Oh, me to get the to find the place on the coal face. And I was on the coal face after for a long, long while. And what was it like on the coal face? What, what was that work like? Hard work. Shove, shove it in all, shove in the coal, oh, six or seven ton every day. And, and what, um, what uh, system did they use to, was it long wall? Was it, was it or was it, um, did you have a, a sort of a, a stint to at do the, it? At the conveyor belt, you were shoving the coal into the conveyor belt and that would load into tubs. Right. Tubs would hold. Ton of coal. Yeah. And they had three tubs at a time, passing to a chain to take out. And did you mark your tubs that were going out, the, the, the tubs that you filled? Did you? Uh, no. No. Somebody else marked them. Yes. Somebody was working on the haulage. And then did they weigh them on the surface to see how much you'd produced? Yes. And did your pay depend on how many tubs you turned out each day? Uh, I think you keep account of them, but... Uh, yes. Yeah. And what was it like, um, how did you fetch the coal down at that time? You drill, drill holes in it. Yes. Three, four, and high put holes. You'd have lots of holes in the, in the coal face. And you had the fire lighter would come in to put explosives in yes. the hole and fire them and then you, you do all the shoveling after. So it's hard graft then shoveling up. hard graft. Yes. And you never finish until the shoveling was finished. <laughs> and then you, you run, run home and then back to
Yeah. Next day. Yeah. And did you have to put supports in to support the roof? Well. Yes. 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 W wooden support at the time. Then they fetched the metal in later on. And um, what about? Uh, did they have baths when you first started? Yes. Oh, yes. And, uh, and what time in the morning did you start? Uh, was it morning shift you did? Six o'clock in the morning. Six in the morning. Yeah. The bus came to Bengay at five o'clock to take you down to the colliery. And then you changed and you went down the pits. Well, you, all the workers were down the pit by six. And how long did it take you to get into the face? Twenty minutes. Yeah. Twenty minutes walk and a, and a hard walk. Yes. Was that was there a, a, a slope? Was there a? Sometimes it was a slope. Sometimes it was flat. Yes. And how, how long were you on the face for each day? Well, you had a six, six yard, seven yard, set a quarter finish, and you would never finish until you you shipped it all. Right. So it depend so how you quickly you got job done. You never looked as you watch. No. <laughs> no. And did, who, who, did you have deputies on the face telling you what to do? Yes, the deputies would come there. Well, the deputies would um, put the explosives in the, in the face and fire it. And then you he wouldn't see him after. Oh. <laughs> so left you to it. <laughs> yeah, this is your job after to get the job done. And Finished. Right. Aye. So, um, did did you enjoyable. You enjoyed it? Yeah. You meet lots of good friends. Everybody, everybody was your friend. There's no enemies. Well, the enemy was the fireman. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and did you ever, did you keep working in the industry when the mechanisation came in, when the power loaders came in? Yes. I was in the pit for 19 and a half years, then I went out for 11, and I came back, went back to the pit after, and I was there, I can't remember the names and times of the year, I was there till it closed. So you saw quite a lot of changes yes. in, your, in the time yes. underground? Yeah, worked with all the, all the things holding the roof, what do you call it? Dowdy props. And, oh, yeah. and the chocks. <coughs> the chocks. The chocks. Yeah. The chocks. yeah. <coughs> and when they started there, it was a wooden prop. Then the dowdies came in after. Yeah. And then the chocks. And did that make the job lighter for you? Yes. When the mechanisation. Yes. Hard the same as when you were the wooden props. <laughs> You've seen some changes then. I've seen a few changes. Uh, yeah. Aye. So, do you miss the mining industry? Bo bo oh, yeah, definitely. I, I enjoyed this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, played hell about it, but uh, oh. we enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah, good friends and, yeah, very good. Yeah. Do, yeah. do you think young people today have got any appreciation of just how hard it was? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Yeah. they haven't. I think the time will come eventually, like that, it will all come back. In fact, they are on about boring now, aren't they, down in, in the Hawks and all down there. See what's, what is it? Coal, gas, and yeah. whatever. Well, in this area, there's still a lot of coal in, in Havard, where Havard Colony was. Yes. Still around the coal there. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, there's coal everywhere under the ground yeah. here. Everywhere. Yeah. Tons and tons of it. Yeah. One seam was six foot thick. Another seam was two foot nine. Mm. Goodness me. So what was it like working in a two foot nine face? It was hard going. You're on your knees mo all, all shift. Yes. And the cutters are to cut in the dirt to, to, to give you a little bit of height. Yeah. Did you used to wear knee pads? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever used to put anything on your knees to stop them getting 
worn down with the... Oh yes, <laughs> the, the, the patches from home, yeah. strong material, which is stuck, stuck to your knees. Yeah. I've heard that some pits used to put surgical spirit on the skin, you know, to make the skin hard ah, on yeah, your knees, because yeah. yeah. otherwise you've got some cuts. Used, some used to, yeah. yes. Yeah. I never did. No. Yeah. Some used to, no. Did you get any injuries when you worked underground at all? Yes, got hurt a few times. But, uh, I finished with I finished up with a broken leg. But I had that finger oh you can see the mark has been opened from there. The tub run tub tub of cold run over it. I, I I slipped I slipped over, hand went out. Goodness me. Tub of cold run over it. Goodness. It was open from there all the way to Nasty. So were you off for a while with that? Uh, for about six weeks. Yeah. And that, was that when you first started in industry? Or? Early, early on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. yeah. And you, your hand's all right now, is it? You, you're not yes, I've got some of it now. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. After all that time. That's yeah, and it was open from there. Yeah. Awesome. And what about you, Dennis? Uh, oh, I had a few. Few injuries, <laughs> broken collarbone, broken leg, arm, broke my coccyx. That's nasty. Fell on the back of my spine and yeah. quite a few oh, accidents really that got over on me. Yeah. Fingers are not very good. Oh, can't straighten them. <coughs> yeah. But um, you know we used to worry. So it leaves its mark. Then, yeah. It? yeah leaves <laughs> used to get on with it. Yeah. Well, there's a few tales you can tell, but uh, and you, as you see, you wouldn't wipe on the No, no. no. Have you got any funny? Have you got any amusing or funny yes, stories? Yes, I got a lot of amusing. One, leave, leave us on a bright note. <laughs> Working in the shaft, doing some scaffolding in the shaft, and um, the fellow at the above used to handle all the scaffold poles down, and this one up above used to show. Just a minute, can't get hold of it. And the one in the bottom, he was trying to reach it up, and he had his penis out, and he peed down the <laughs> pipe and straight onto his head. <laughs> oh, oh, he got a shot, didn't he? <laughs> we used to have a lot of fun as well as our work, of course, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Emlyn? Have you yeah. got a, a funny story to? I have a story. You were in a snapping time, you used to catch the mice. Which is every, every day, you'd have a laugh. <coughs> you'd have, have a laugh over something every yeah. day. You used to catch mice down the pits. Um, you used to tie a piece of bread on one side of a elastic. You used to put an elastic down with you. And a piece of elastic on the other, a piece of bread on the other side, and two mice would be fighting for the blood. <laughs> And when we were on the surface, I remember. Seen that very often. Yeah, on the surface, uh, in the shops, the mice, and they used to catch them and paint them different colours. That's mine. Uh, that one's mine. <laughs> it races. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a lovely story. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I'm good to stop now. Yeah. Uh, I think you've both done really well. That's been quite a long <laughs> yeah, interview, but it's been anyway. smashing. Thank you very anyway. much, both of you. For could go on for all, all yeah, day. No, yeah. yeah. There are a lot of tales I could tell. Yeah. But that was, uh, that was wonderful. I'm poor, that's what you're telling. Yeah, yeah. That was wonderful. I think you've both done really well. Yeah, so yeah it's, very it's good. Very yeah. Tiring, yeah. Lots of memories, but I'm very poor passing the memories on. Yeah. That's all right. No, you've done, both done really well, haven't you? Oh, so. And yeah. Bernie too. Yeah. Uh, it's been, uh, I've been down to South Wales to the big pitch as well. I've been interviewed by. Um, um, oh, Kerry. Yeah, yeah. Kerry came to my house and he and again yeah. put my uh, news in that in the Glow magazine as yes. well. Yeah. Yes. Kerry's oh, a professional, he's, so he's oh, uh, he's, uh, great, he's, he's, great, uh, he's uh, yeah. very experienced in and uh, Ka Ka yeah. Catherine as well. Catherine, she left now, isn't she? All right, didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, Calvin's left now.